up guys and welcome back to another video and today we are watching some more snarled now i haven't watched snarled in a little bit you know i've been watching other videos for a little bit you know have a little bit of variety in my youtube channel so but today the video we're going to be watching is beware of the sack man now don't you say in the comments anything negative in the comments because I know you guys will say negative stuff in the comments. Not that type of sack. But the sack that you carry on your back. That rhymes. So we're gonna going to watch this video. Right now. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? The Bubak. The Bubak. The following story is based on a submission from Anastasia. Anastasia. In Spain in the 1990s, there lived a 12-year-old girl named Lucia. She lived on a farm surrounded she, she by looks kinda short for age. parents. Every other weekend or so, her parents had to go into town for different business reasons, conventions, conferences, what have you. Lucia was much too young to tag along with them, so they would leave her at home where her cousin Emily would babysit. Emily was only three years older than Lucia, so she would always protest. Why do I even need a babysitter? I'm old enough to watch myself. But her parents disagreed. Lucia probably wouldn't have minded this as much if she actually liked her cousin. But Emily loved to play pranks on her. She'd always try to scare her with monster stories or try to convince her that her toys were possessed. What? So it was a Friday morning and Lucia's parents had left, leaving Lucia and Emily alone on the farm. Mm. Emily was going to make them breakfast, so she asked Lucia to gather some eggs from the hens. Lucia walked over to the coop and noticed something in the corner of her eye. In the middle of the field was a scarecrow. Whoa. It hadn't been there before, so Lucia was positive it was just one of her cousin's pranks. She rolled her eyes and went to get the eggs. She didn't mention to Emily oh, that she saw the scarecrow. Animation. She was just going to ignore it. The next morning, Lucia went to gather more eggs for breakfast. The scarecrow was still there in the field. Lucia chuckled to herself, entertained by her cousin's attempts to scare her. When she gathered the eggs and walked back to the house, she stopped in her tracks. The scarecrow was now much closer than it was before. What? Okay, that got me. Lucia chuckled to herself. Mm -hmm. She didn't notice it before because it was so far away, but Lucia was shocked by how ugly it was. Mm -hmm. She grabbed an egg and threw it at its grotesque face. Oh, no. Now you she made She pranced into the kitchen and placed the bucket of eggs on the counter. I'll admit it, that scarecrow's pretty good, Lucia said. Emily looked up from the pan. Mm -mm. What are you talking about? You can stop the act, cousin. How long did it take you to make that? Man. Emily turned the stove off and wrinkled her brow. Where did you say you saw the scarecrow? It's right where you last left it, at the edge of the field. Emily rushed over to the window and looked around. Lucia skipped up behind her and looked. Okay, me. Now you really think. Uh, how, first of all, how she? How do you think she teleported from outside to inside? You th she moved it. How can she possibly teleport, like, three feet from the house into the inside? Like, don't you think of that? Um, whatever your name is, I forgot what your name is. Of course, this is, this is animation. They don't, this they don't think about that kind of stuff. No, if I saw that scarecrow and you threw an egg at it, so you made it mad. Man, if I was that person, I will make sure I'll kill that thing. I get a knife. No, I'm just joking. And looked out as well. But the scarecrow was gone. Whoa, how'd you do that? Man. Emily hastily pulled the curtain closed and pulled Lucia to the ground, lowering her voice to a whisper. Lucia, are you familiar with the bubak? Ugh, you are unbelievable. Listen to me. It came for one of my friends not too long ago. It goes after young children. It makes a sound like a crying baby to make you come near it. And when you're close enough, it takes you and throws you in his sack to eat later. We have to stick together today. 
Cool story, cousin. I'm gonna go read in my room. Don't bother me until dinner, okay? Okay, I don't blame her. I'm on both of their sides. I'm on Emily, I think that's Emily. I'm on Emily's side because, I mean, come on. Um, the cousin pranked her like so many times, I wouldn't believe her either. But at this instant, the t gosh dang scarecrow moved. It moved. You don't see it outside, do you? And both of them were inside. I would have barred down the door, barricaded the doors, went through the back door, then left. I would have I been out of that house in two seconds. If that if I didn't see that thing outside, I would have been gone. But, but I'm on a, you know, cousin's side because... I mean, I will believe her a little bit, you know, that not that much, but you know. So Lucia locked herself in her room and read her fantasy book on her bed. She didn't even realize she had fallen asleep until she was awoken by a sound Hello. coming from the other side of her room. <laughs> it was a baby crying. Nice try, cuz, Lucia drowsily shouted no. into the darkness. She reached over and turned her lamp on and was startled by the figure in her room. It was the scarecrow. Lucia? Lucia, are you there? A muffled cry came from behind it. Lucia spotted the large writhing sack where the sound was coming from. Seriously, Emily, when are mm -mm. you going to give it up? No. Lucia got out of her bed and approached the scarecrow, ready to call her cousin out. No. But with every step, her confidence began to wear off. Yes. The closer she got, the more details she noticed. The pole holding up its hideous body slowly began to coil like a snake. This scarecrow was alive. Yes. Run! The scarecrow revealed its raggy Ooh. arms from underneath its tattered clothes and raised them towards Lucia. Run! She ran out of her bedroom, frantically searching for a place to hide. She could hear the box slithering not too far behind her. She ran into the kitchen and hid inside the smallest cupboard that she could uh -uh. squeeze into. And she waited. Ooh. She was going to wait there for as long as she could. Her parents would be home the next morning. She was going to make it. No. Just then, the kitchen phone rang. It went to voicemail. Hi, Lucy. It's mom and dad. We actually booked a couple more meetings out here, and we thought a lot about it. And, you know, you're right. You are a big girl, and you can take care of yourself for another day or so. And, Emily, we know we only paid you until tomorrow morning, so feel free to go home. Lucy will be fine. So, um... Yeah, just call us back at our hotel when you get the chance, okay? Love you. So I personally love ThreadUp for multiple reasons. Uh, one, I just, I love. I have to say, that was definitely one of her best animations. You know, it actually moved a little bit, you know actually moved i mean didn't our other animations move or was it just stop animation no i think this one actually moved but you know this one's pretty good um i like that one that was the most terrible timing in that girl's life the phone had to ring of course it talked about oh you're grown enough to stay uh-uh you better invite you better invite my cousin over i'm trying to stay alive so Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more of my content on this channel, make sure you go subscribe and like my video and follow my Instagram. Link in the description. Just comment. So now, okay.